Welcome! In front of me I have CMF Watch 3 Pro and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the crown button here. Keep holding it until you see the CMF logo on the screen and once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And once the watch is done booting up you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list, look for the language you would like to use on your watch, select it and then you can tap on the check mark to confirm. And after that you will see the QR code on the screen, which means you need to download and install the Nothing X application on the iPhone you want to pair your watch with. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store tap on search, type in uh, Nothing X and tap on search and you should see this application on the list. Nothing X by nothing with this icon. We need to download it so tap on the get icon and wait until the application is done installing. Okay, and once the application is uh, done installing, you can tap on open to open it. In the app you may see some pop-ups about the permission, for example the notification one. It's not required, but if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow it. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm gonna allow it. Then we can tap on get started. Uh, here we can join the uh, improve, uh, improvement program, but I'm just gonna tap on later. T now tap on continue and allow the Bluetooth access. The app will start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch. If it doesn't, you can always uh, scan the QR code by tapping on this icon right here. But as you can see, it detected, detected our, my watch rather. So we can tap on connect, continue, and we need to log in and you can log in with the account if you created one. If you don't have an account, you can create one by tapping right here on create an account, or you can use Google or Apple account. I'm gonna log in into mine account because I already have one. So give me a few seconds. Okay, and after you log in, it will start connecting, and then we can tap on the check mark to confirm. Tap on pair. Allow order ID permission for the notifications. Here, tap on continue. And right here, we can enable the notifications for the app. So basically, it will send the notifications from your iPhone to your watch. You can also disable it if you don't like it. No, for some reason it won't allow us to disable it. Hmm, interesting. So let's tap on continue. Here we can enable or disable the weather updates. And um, for, for it to work, we need to allow the location permission. But if you don't want to uh, use it, you can uh, simply deny the permission. Uh, and once you allow the permission, oh no, it won't let us without like permission for all the time. Yeah, it won't. Um, one thing you can do is to allow the permission or if you don't want to deal with this, with the like permissions and stuff like that, you can simply close the app and reopen it. I'm pretty sure it will bring you to the home screen of the app if you reopen it, but uh, let me allow the permission for the location just for the sake of the video. So uh, location always. Okay, continue, and then we have the call reminder. 
and you will probably need to allow some permissions. Oh, never mind. Okay, and once you've done all the permissions, you should see the device page, and on it you should see Watch Free Pro, and here you have some settings and stuff like that. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.